A bit of conversation about this next story, mm -hmm. right? Because for about an hour today, a small auditorium in downtown DC was the center of the universe when it comes to unexplained objects in the sky, at least the known universe. Yeah, so NASA <laughs> released a first of its kind study of UAP, the scientific way of saying UFOs. Our Casey Nolan was there tonight and Casey, it really sounds like NASA is getting into this UFO hunting business, huh? Yeah, UAPs, that's what they call them now, unidentified anomalous phenomena, not just to be nerdy, NASA wants to take the sci-fi and the stigma out of UFOs and bring serious data collection and data sharing to the job of identifying these flying objects. I know the exact locations. In Congress this summer, a whistleblower claimed secondhand knowledge of a government cover-up. Do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses. And U.S. military pilots have recorded what, so far, no one has claimed to recognize. Oh my gosh. But all of these cases and countless other encounters in the sky lack what NASA says is key to understanding unidentified anomalous phenomena hard data reliably collected. This is the first time that NASA has taken concrete action to seriously look into UAP. Thursday, NASA released the findings from an independent UAP panel and its recommendations that NASA take a more active role in the federal government's work to identify unknown objects in the sky. While there are numerous eyewitness accounts and visuals associated with UAP, they're not consistent, they're not detailed, and they're not curated observations. NASA says its technology can help understand what's happening in the atmosphere around UAP sightings, it wants the public and commercial pilots to weigh in with cell phone photos that are rich with metadata. And the agency is promising to do all of this transparently. We will use AI and machine learning to search the skies for anomalies as we have been searching the heavens. Today, NASA said this study found no evidence of any extraterrestrial UAPs. The agency also announced a new director of UAP research, but at first they refused to give their name. NASA said it is worried about threats from people who are convinced the government is hiding UFO evidence. Then later tonight they changed their mind, made that person's name public in the interest of transparency. Yeah, a lot of folks convinced that UAPs, they're, they're out there. We better you know? make sure Topper didn't launch some weather balloons and <laughs> ended up out there somewhere <laughs> just doing some travel. <laughs> which is which is what a lot of what we, we see they think is. That's ah, okay. Okay. see, see, we're on but to are something. They? Are they? <laughs> what are they? Uh -huh. they're gonna More to come. More <laughs> to you, come. Casey.